So there's a lot of confusion about Kratom, especially when it comes to whole leaf powder, extracts, and isolated alkaloids like 7 hydroxymetrogenine. So let's break it down. Whole leaf Kratom is the most traditional form. The leaves are harvested, they're dried, and then they're ground into powder. That's it. It contains a natural mix of alkaloids that have been used for hundreds of years in Southeast Asia. It's balanced, it's predictable, and it has a long track record. Kratom extracts are a totally different thing. They're made by boiling down large amounts of powder or using solvents to concentrate the alkaloids. These extracts are way more potent, but they also hit harder, they build tolerance faster, and they don't have the same natural balance as the raw leaf. Then there's 7 hydroxymetrogenine or 7-OH. It's one of the most powerful alkaloids in Kratom, but here's the key point. It's not found in high amounts in the natural leaf. It forms only during oxidation or when it's isolated in a lab. So when you're consuming pure 7-OH, you're not consuming Kratom, you're using a semi-synthetic version of one isolated compound. Some vendors market 7-OH like it's just extra strong Kratom, but it's not. It's a completely different experience. And since it hasn't been used traditionally or studied long term, no one really knows the full risk profile. And that's why at Panacea Natural, we stick only with whole leaf Kratom. It's clean, it's lab tested, and it's made the way nature intended, with the full range of alkaloids working together the way they were meant to. Do you want to learn more about Kratom and other amazing botanicals? Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel.